I am the very model of effective social distancing. I listen to the experts on the topic of resistancing. I know that punching your glasses are nearly as imperative as doing what I can to stop the nation's viral narrative. I'm doing real acquainted to with living solitarily. I'm confident that everyone can do it temporarily. Go take a walk or ride a bike or dig into an unread book. Uh, avoid the bars and restaurants and carry out or learn to cook. Avoid the bars and restaurants and carry out or learn to cook. Avoid the bars and restaurants and carry out or learn to cook. Avoid the bars and restaurants or carry out or learn to learn to cook. There's lots of stuff to watch online while keeping safe from sinus cells. In this case, it's far better to enjoy your Netflix minus chills. Adopt a pet, compose a ballad, write some earnest doggerel, and help demolish Trump before our next event inaugural. Adopt a pet, compose a ballad, write some earnest doggerel, and help demolish Trump before our next event inaugural. That we'll get through this disaster, I'm pretty much as sure as hell. Please, oh, please do be conscious if you feel your face weakened as well. Promptly flattening out the curve is the most important thing to do. Frankly, our healthcare system cannot handle much more sick from flu. Even extroverted tendencies are satisfied with these times. Don't visit Graham and Stead talk to her and cooed over FaceTime. Please keep them safe. Don't make them sick. Be impetuous for their help. And hopefully Grand Coot will stop sending you all this Elvis crap, and hopefully Grand Coot will stop sending you all this Elvis crap, and hopefully Grand Coot will stop sending you all this Elvis crap, and hopefully Grand Coot will stop sending you all this Elvis Elvis crap. Pandemics are alarming, but they are not insurmountable. If everybody pitches in to hold themselves accountable, in short, please do your part to practice prudent coexistencing and be the very model of effective social distancing. In short, please do your part to practice prudent coexistencing and be the very model of effective social distancing.